safe now. You'll have to forgive the scanning process. We can't take any chances. Dr. Freeman? Gordon Freeman? Is that you? You've made it here this quickly. Well, Eli is going to be amazed, not to mention relieved. I'm Dr. Mossman, Dr. Judith Mossman. I've been hearing about you since long before the Black Mesa incident. Oh, Black Mesa. I do so envy you working with Eli and Dr. Kleiner when they are at the top of their field. Ah, there we go. You can come through now. I'll take you down to Eli right away. He would never forgive me if I kept you waiting. <laughs> We could certainly use the extra help around here. We've covered a lot of ground in the last few months, but things would go so much faster if we had more people with your training. We're closing in on a reliable local teleport technology, something the Combine still hasn't mastered. Eli thinks their portals are string-based, similar to our Kalabi Yao model, but they failed to factor in the dark energy equations. They can tunnel through from their universe, but once they're here, they're dependent on local transportation. If they knew what we were doing with entanglement... Oh. <laughs> Listen to me, I sound like a postdoc. I'm just so excited to think that we'll finally have the chance to work together. Where was I? Oh, yes. Dr. Kleiner compressed the Zen relay far beyond anything he imagined at Black Mesa. We figured out how to use Zen as an unexpressed axis. Effectively, a dimensional slingshot, so we can swing around the border world and come back to the local space without having to pass through. Oh, here's a Eli now. All right, good. You keep right on. Eli, look who I found in the airlock. Gordon Freeman. <laughs> Let me get a look at you, man. My God, you haven't changed one iota. How do you do it? Now, let's see. The last time I saw you, I sent you up for help after the Resonance Cascade. <laughs> I never thought it would take you this long to get back to me. Welcome to the lab, anyway. It's not Black Mesa, but it served us well enough. It's going to be a lot more like Black Mesa with Gordon here to help. Right you are. MIT graduates are few and far between these days. We'll get you out of that hazard suit and back into your lab coat where you belong. Let me just finish up some work and I'll see what I can dig up. Dr. Freeman, it's been a real honor. I'm looking forward to working together. Feel free to look around. Dr. Breen. He's the administrator of this whole vile business now. He ended the Seven Hours War by managing Earth's surrender. The Combine rewarded him with power. You remember my wife, Ozian, don't you? That picture and Alex were all I managed to carry out of Black Mesa. We're still not sure what that does. Alex brings in the strangest things. The Eli Vance almost perceives the all-in-one. The Vortigaunt said you were here. I can't believe you made it so quickly on foot. I believe he broke your record, honey. Well, he earned it. I guess you proved you can handle yourself out there. There's nothing Gordon can't handle, with the possible exception of you. Dad, please.
Take a look at this, Gordon. The Vortigons relieved me so I could come see Gordon. Anyway, I should be in here, working on the portal. I have the repairs well in hand. Someone misjudged the capacity of the Combine Thyristor. <laughs> Are you blaming me? No, not at all. It was a calculation error, not a mechanical problem. Then maybe you should let me do the calculations next time, as well as installing it. Alex, really? Sometimes I think you deliberately misunderstand me. <clears throat> Alex? Why don't you take Gordon along and give him some practice with the gravity gun? Sure. Come on, Gordon. Let's go have some fun. The zero-point energy field manipulator is not a toy, Alex. Ugh. Let's get out of here. So I see you've met Dr. Mossman. She's one of the main reasons I spend so much time outside. You should hear her drone on about how it should have been her in the Black Mesa test chamber that day. <laughs> I'm sorry, I shouldn't be talking behind her back. It just gets a bit claustrophobic down here. That's the old passage to Ravenholm. We don't go there anymore. Come on. So, here we are. The scrapyard. This is a gravity gun my father was talking about. You can call it the Zero Point Energy Field Manipulator if you really want to. It's designed for handling hazardous materials, but we mainly use it for heavy lifting. Give it a try. The primary trigger emits a charge. You can punch stuff and send it flying. I found it handy for clearing minefields. The secondary trigger lets you grab things. You can throw them with the primary. Once you've picked something up, you can drop it gently by pressing your secondary trigger again. Pick up some stuff and toss it. pull stuff over from a distance. Try grabbing those barrels from that ledge up there. All right. See if you can stack some stuff to climb up here. stacking some things. Grab something with your secondary trigger, then press the same trigger again to drop it gently. All right. Now let me call Dog. He loves to play fetch. Dog! Come! Dog. 
Doggy. Gordon, this is Dog. My dad built him to protect me when I was a kid. First model was about yay high. I've been adding to him ever since. Have a nice boy. Okay, Dog, let's play catch with Gordon. You'll need to use the gravity gun. Go ahead, Dog. Throw. Who'd be fetching, did I? Scrapyard airlock stuck in a full auto cycle. Is Gordon still with you? He's right here. Good. I want you two to. Dad? Take Gordon out of here. Head for the coast. Do not go through rape. Dad? Dad! Damn it! Dog, open the airlock. Get us out of here. tunnel, then circle around and try to meet up with me. Hurry!
Life has vanished like smoke, and my bones are parched like ash. And let all my enemies be as fuel for that fire until nothing remains but the light of the before the wind. Another life to save? I'll keep my eye on you. More than that, I cannot promise.